Today, we're going to look at five surrounding cities around Costa Mesa and Newport. And we're going to start right now. Hey, this is David Klein Levitt, broker owner, next home, first choice, hopefully your choice realty. And we're talking about five cities around Costa Mesa, Newport. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. In fact, I post two a week. One, I call it Real Estate 101 or Real Estate Made Easy, where you're going to learn great tips, tricks, and techniques to make your life easier. And the second is a virtual tour, so you can view property in the surrounding area without leaving your living room or even your bedroom. You can just do it in your pajamas if you like. So let's get to it. Properties in five cities near Costa Mesa and Newport Beach. Number one, Huntington Beach. Whoa, the gift. The, the, the great benefit, you can get it right out of the name. Yeah, Huntington. No, I was kidding. Beach. It's literally on the beach. It's Huntington Beach. There's probably about six, seven miles of beach to Huntington Beach. And what even makes it great, part of it is Huntington Beach Dog Beach. If you got a dog, your dog wants to go to heaven, that's it. I just never get tired of seeing the dogs roaming, playing in the surf, on the sand with each other. It's absolutely amazing. They also have right there is Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve. It's really something to see. It's amazing. Now, Huntington Beach has a rating of 75 out of 100 in the livability standard, but the weather is an A+. The amenities are an A+. It's absolutely fantastic. The only thing that lowers it down is it's a little expensive, but hey, you get your money's worth. The amenities, there's restaurants, shopping. It's got everything you'd ever want in a city. In fact, they call it Surf City because again, it's on the beach. Absolutely paradise, but they're all good. Number two, Fountain Valley. That's a great name in its own, Fountain Valley. What it boasts and what's so great about Fountain Valley is it has a park. It's not just any park. Mile Square Park. And guess why they call it a Mile Square Park? Yes, it's a square mile. It's a huge park. Every time I drive by, in fact, when I drive near there, I make sure I drive by one of the miles. And I just love seeing the people and the dogs and people exercising and the fountains because it is Fountain Valley after all. It's absolutely amazing. There's uh, 57,000 people that live there. It's just slightly a tick above Huntington Beach in the livability sta standard at 76. Amenities A+, plus. A crime is really low, same as Huntington Beach. Schools are a little bit better. They're at A-, minus. Huntington Beach is a B+, plus, which is still great, and the weather is an A. Just a couple degrees warmer because it's off the, off the beach. Fantastic. So that's city number two, Fountain Valley. Number one was Huntington Beach. Number three, and not least, is Irvine. Irvine may be the place you want to live. Irvine boasts a livability rating of 81, the highest in the list. 247,000 people live there, but catch this out. Amenities, A+, plus, has one of the, the best malls, Irvine Spectrum. It's a lot of fun there. Been there many times. A+. Plus. Crime rate, A+. Plus. Nobody, nobody wants to steal anything there. Schools, A+, plus. weather, A. Fantastic. What is not to like? Yeah, it's a little expensive, but hey, you get what you pay for. Has the University of uh, Irvine, UCR, right there. Fantastic. They're all close to John Wayne Airport. A little farther from the beach, but hey, so what? It's fantastic. City number three, Irvine. You don't want to miss it. City number four, Santa Ana. Now these are all just the surrounding nearest cities to Costa Mesa and Newport. Santa Ana is not as fantastic in some ways as the other ones, but it has some charm that the other cities don't have. 
It has a Spanish flair, kind of like an old town feel, some amazing shops, amazing restaurants, very authentic, very real, and just very historic. There's a Bowers Museum is there, uh, and there's a Discovery Cube, a science-like museum, and it's less expensive. So you get a lot more for your money, or don't have to spend as much. And it's just a very nice, quaint, authentic, a little bit Spanish style with a great, again, what I said, old town feel. And all amenities are good, just not as fantastic. Livability rating is 54, which is above average for the state. Number four city, Santa Ana. Don't want to miss it. Great city. Number five, Garden Grove. Do you notice all of these names are really nice? You know, the beach, the fountain, now we're living in a garden grove. I can name in one word, I think it's a one word, something that's so great, and it's actually just next door to Garden Grove, but it's right there. And the one word that can describe it is, drum roll, drum roll please. <laughs> Disneyland, yeah, it's right next to Disneyland. So you've, the amenities, again, A plus. All of it, all the amenities and all of the goodwill and all the fun and the cheer and the happiness spills over to Garden Grove. It's fantastic. So you've got the best restaurants, the best entertainment. It's absolutely fantastic. It also has a Christ a cathedral, cathedral Church which is, it's, it's a landmine, a landmine, a landmark, ha! landmine, if you don't want to go there, you're not religious, but no, it's a landmark, it's fantastic, it has all these towers, and it's, it's, it's a literally a tourist attraction that you don't want to miss, it's fantastic, and again, the home prices are a little cheaper, fantastic, weather just a tiny bit warmer, but it still gets an A- minus for weather, fantastic, Number five, Garden Grove. So the five surrounding cities that, that I can help you with as well, they're all right close by to Costa Mesa, Newport Beach, are, and not in the order of preference or anything at all, this is just how I wrote it up, Huntington Beach, Fountain Valley, Irvine, Santa Ana, and Garden Grove. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure and leave a, a comment and give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear about my videos, so how I can make them better for you. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you next week. And oh, by the way, hit the button over there and you can find out how you can sell your home yourself. Yes, I did a video on how to sell your home yourself. Right there, click it. And again, we'll see you next week. We do two videos every single week.